We're joined by Darren Curry, the head of uh, the tie against Whitham Town in the Essex Senior Cup. Um, let's start off talking about Saturday's game in the league against uh, Maidenham United. Managed to, to get a point out of that game. Yeah, I think it was the least we deserved, to be honest. In particular, with our performance in the second half. Um, we knew what type of game it would be. We prepared for uh, the sort of bombardment of how they play. They get the ball forward very quickly from everywhere. So we kind of knew what was going to come our way. Um, and right up until five minutes before half time, I felt we'd dealt with everything. Um, and the game plan was going pretty much to what we expected. Obviously, it's a, it's a poor goal to concede with the, with the long throw. Um, but yeah, if we'd, have, if we'd have seen it through to half time, then, you know, going down the hill in the second half and the way we was planning to approach the second half um, meant that we was right on track with our game plan, but obviously got, got knocked sideways a bit with the, with the goal that we conceded. But I thought our response to the goal in the second half, I thought there was only one team looking likely they were going to win it. Um, we spent a lot of time in the half in the second half and with a touch more quality in and around the final third and in and around the box um, we could have quite easily come away with a win but you know I think they're a team that will certainly ask questions of anyone who goes there this season they've taken points off some good sides already this year so to come away with a point it's not the worst result in the world um, obviously you know, a slight disappointment that we didn't win the game. Yeah, and you mentioned a bit about the, the second half, how it completely changed. Uh, Dangham came out more uh, more better in the second half. and uh, <coughs> There was a tactical change as well, Kanabiru coming on. Um, do you think it was very close to, to coming right at the end to getting that winning goal, wasn't it? Yeah, and you know, the, the wind played its part. The fact that you're down the hill in the second half played its part. All these, all these um, parts contribute to the to the ebbs and flows of the game, um, and we didn't quite come to grips with it with our own performance in the first half. We was a bit loose with the ball, and on the other occasion we, we we got up in their final third, but we wasn't wasn't too concerned. To, in all fairness, it was more what we was looking to do in the second half with the advantage of the hill and the, and, and the wind, um, and then Faye coming off. Corey had had, a, had 60 minutes or so and Gaffer just felt some fresh legs, which is understandably, you know, we've got a good squad, we've got lots of options. So to bring Faye on and give us a, some fresh legs, some fresh ideas, almost paid off. Obviously we got, we got the goal and that got us back in. Great bit of awareness by Morgan and a, and a nice finish by Cheeky, which was nice for him because obviously he's back and he's back in the team now. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm really pleased with, you know, what we tried to do in the second half, and just a tinge of disappointment we didn't go on and win the game. Yeah, and uh, next game in the league is two weeks away against Tranmere Rovers. Um, how, how are you thinking of using up that time, you and, and the team? There'll be some rest for uh, players that have played the majority of the game. Um, so, for example, the team that played on Saturday have, have rested today and we've got some work into the others that need the extra bit of work. There's a game obviously tomorrow night at Witten where people will get some game time, like some Matty Robinson and Sparksy's back, which is a huge plus, Young Mason, Elliot Remain, all these boys that need some game time, Nunny, Bonds and Gala, you know, so we'll go there strong tomorrow night. We've got another friendly fixture at the weekend against Crystal Palace, which will be some more game time. And then potentially get another friendly in Monday, Tuesday of next week. So we're hoping that come the Tranmere go, all players would have had at least two 90 minutes, but fingers crossed they get three 90 minutes under their belt, which will give us a, a bigger pool of players to pick from for the Tranmere game. Of course, you mentioned about the game tomorrow, bringing in those players. Is there any other thoughts they have ahead of tomorrow's match? No, it's just about you know going there. We want to win the game. You know, we've picked a we've picked a very strong team. You know, when I look across the 
when I look across the, the 11 that will be starting tomorrow night, they're all very capable of playing our next league fixture. Uh, we've got young Liam who's come back from Whitehawk now, who's been, I know they've had a tough time Whitehawk, but Liam has come back with some huge plaudits, he's done fantastic by all accounts. Um, and young Joe White who needs some game time as well. So it's just valuable minutes for the squad players at the minute, which will allow us to the team selection to come from a greater pack of players come the tramway game. Well, thank you very much, Dan. Thank you.